Hey folks, Engineer775 continuing uh, to show you some things that you can do with your well, especially if you live in an area where you're going through an extended period of, of, of drought, or maybe you're out west, you know, we're in the east and we don't usually have a problem with our wells with the water level dropping too much to the point where you get in trouble with out pumping your well. But out west, if you're tapped into certain aquifers or you're on a community well and people are just using water and not monitoring, they get to the point where they just pump their wells dry. And so there's some things that you can do. And what we put on our well here is a, it's an Eno Scientific um, well watch is what it's called. And it is basically a sonar device that allows you to capture the depth of the, the static water level, which is the distance from the ground. Uh, from this device down to the top of the water. So if you know things like where your pump is located and you know the static and as your, your water level is dropping, this can cause you to um, basically stop before you out pump your well and start conserving ahead of time. So this device can allow you to think ahead and allow the community uh, to just continue on with life sort of as normal without just everybody taking what they need to take for water and it can also put you into a uh, you know a conservation mode where you're hey we're not going to wash the cars we're not going to wa uh, you know water the lawns based on our water level now when the water level comes up then you can begin to use your water as normal again so it allows you uh, to get the information that you need to make good decisions on for con for your well for your particular well whether it's a personal well or community well and so there's a great device. And there's a link in the description of where to find these. Again, it's Eno Scientific. And uh, it might not be a thing east of the Mississippi, as I find a lot of different wells. But when you get into areas that have been very dry, like California, Nevada, Oregon, and other places like that, this could be a great device to let you know how you're doing with your water storage. Because most people do not have an idea what's going on in their well. So before you pump your well dry, you might want to know what's going on with it. So what we've got, this thing does require some power, but not a lot of power. It's like one watt. And uh, we've got it hooked to a battery. Uh, my well is a long ways from my home. So I just brought a battery and an inverter down here to run it. And there's, it, again, it could be a small little solar panel battery charging system. And we've got it hooked to the laptop. And what we're doing is logging every minute we take a sample and we're finding out what the static water level is, dumping it to a, a text file, and then we can graph it and do whatever. But it allows us to see uh, over a period of time, it'll take 25 million data points, so you can watch your well over a particular period if you want to watch, especially in the summer months. It's a great device for allowing you to see what's going on with your well. So again, trying to do all things water. We showed you on the first video the, uh, the well sounder. So if you need a portable device, if you're doing any well, well work, pump work, you can take this device and we did verify. We were within a couple of feet, which is good enough for what we're talking about when you got wells that are hundreds and up to a thousand foot deep. So the Well Sounder Pro is a great device I take with me to just check the static water level. Then I know what to, how to size a solar water pumping system or a hand pumping system for that customer. And then the Well Watch, this is the Well Watch DL, 600 DL, allows you to log data and monitor your well over a long period of time and to make uh, good decisions about usage of your well during the drought, during any type of drought. So I uh, hope I answered uh, any questions you might have. If not, leave some questions. If you've used these devices and got any trips, <laughs> tips or tricks, let me know. But we're going to go ahead and capture the data out of here and make a few graphs. And uh, so just having fun with some gizmos. And again, this is Engineer 775 signing out.